my self juvera sidhika lecturer in zoology mbs government degree college mahbub nagar today in this session i am going to discuss about what are the agencies the voluntary and non voluntary agencies um, which work under the health regarding to the health issues and uh, let us talk about the voluntary health agencies first uh, come to the detail these are the agencies who work for their willingness to the helpful for the society uh, regarding to the society's help and uh, uh, hygiene uh, which could be maintained by their own selves they get the they collect their uh, funds on their own selves and uh, work on the basis of the welfare of the nation and the welfare of the society or the community and now if you talk about this this work for the health of the community as i just told now about this and uh, these are the associations or the organizations will which work for the betterment of the society. society and now if you talk about the introduction uh, coming to the definition uh, uh, what is the definition an organization that is administered by an autonomous board which hold see here one word is there that is the autonomous means they work on their self Uh, there is no depend on any <coughs> governmental issues or we can say they do not depend on any other type of the uh, agencies or the other type of the institutions they depend they work on their own self so it is an autonomous body we can say uh, these voluntary organizations they work for as the autonomous or the self here the meaning of the autonomous in the sense here it is a self working body an organization that is administered by an autonomous board which hold meetings collect fund see here which conduct meetings and collect funds or it supports chiefly from the private sources and expends money whether with or without paid workers in conducting a program direct primarily to furthering the public health so this work based on the public health or the health of the nation by providing health services or health education or by adva advancing research or legislations for health legislations according here that mention about the policies whatever the policies are there health policies are there they form the they, form, they try to formulate the policies or they ask the government or the legal issues according to the health or by a combination of these activities so what is the basic or the primarily activities of this organization okay this is a like a self bodies uh, these are like this work on their self uh, they does not depend upon any government and they collect fund and this is for uh, private sources here the sources whatever the sources they are getting from for the services of the society or for the well being of the nation they work on their uh, like uh, this is like a private source there is no fund from the government or we can say they does not depend upon any government sector so they collect the money from the different sources and at the same time whoever the workers are there they are come forward to their own self for the help of the nation so this is the one thing and they may be a uh, paid or the without paid workers means uh, they may take some salaries or we can say or like a fund or for the appreciation money but it does not depend upon like a permanent thing that uh, willingness to do free work the free services we commonly call it as the voluntary organizations whatever the voluntary organizations these are all the free workers or they work on the free basis and here these are non profit non political see here they does not need any type uh, type of profit they do not want to take any type of profit and non political they do not depend on the political issues and independent organization here the word is correct suitable for this organization these are like the independent they does not depend on any other sorry these are the independent organizations means they does not depend on any other thing and uh, which spend money for following intentions and named accordingly see uh, what they work what is the uh, what they spend the money on which work means missionary or the religious organization so different organizations are there in the nation uh, so in this what are the different types of the organization if we talk about the one by one the first organization which work on the health issues are the self working bodies these are the self working bodies like missionary schools or the missionary or the religious organization they work for the religious services 
అండ్ లైక్ ప్రమోట్ అవ్ ప్రమోషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీ రిలీజియన్ మీన్స్ దే టాక్ అబౌట్ ద రిలీజియన్స్ ఎనీ పర్టికులర్ రిలీజియన్స్ they conduct the programs or awareness programs or like campaigns conduct conduct the campaigns different areas so here one of the type of this organization this is about the religious so whoever the fo- who, who have the faith on the different religions so depend upon their own religion what they believe they conduct the some different types of uh, meetings or campaigns or any awareness programs and another one is like welfare organization like social welfare this organization work for the society welfare like the social welfare relief and the welfare of the society and professional body that is the protection of interest i am a nothing but again protection of interest of the members of the profession these bodies work for the professions whoever the professionals are there the job holders are there on their work on their welfare for the sake of their welfare this type of organization is work and then voluntary health agency so this is our major uh what we can say the major point here uh, for our topic that is about the voluntary health organization provision of health services to the people these health organization they provide the all the facility they try to conduct all type of the facility on the free of the cost they just serve the society they for the well being and for the betterment of the society and we can see the example or we can take the example so many societies are there in our surrounding if any uh, human hazard or any uh, environmental hazards are there at that situation some relief agencies are came or the voluntary organizations are there came forward to help the society uh, to help for the people who are suffer from this type of hazards it may be like economical or the social or maybe the personal uh, hazard is there the united state of america and that is the 2000 voluntary agencies functioning if you take the example in the united state of america there are the near about 20000 voluntary agencies are there who is functioning voluntary health agencies like motor truck these uh, they work like uh, uh, they, these are like the trucks so all the facilities are available in the truck they may be mobile we can say these are the health services or the health help services we can call it as like a help services which are the mobile in function like vehicles any vehicle is there all the necessary items are there in that vehicle they may be go from here and there and official agencies like the railway truck lines so by the railway lines also if any um, incidents are occur any environmental hazards are there any natural disaster is there to relief in that particular area they may be serve as their own or uh, by the mobile services we can call it as like a mobile services they can uh, they have a one type of uh, truck in the truck or we can say like a van in that van all the medical uh, facilities are there to for the cure for to cure that uh, persons who are in the environmental hazards or any type of the disasters and if we talk about the history uh, see here the healthcare in the india has a long tradition of the world uh, that is the volunteerism uh, for the centuries traditional healers have taken care of the health need of their own community then the institutionalized volunteerism evolved during the colonial era so this is come from the colonial era in the past and christian missionaries this is the first type of the health services the voluntary organizations for the health services like the christian missionaries started this work and this uh, one of the example if you take this christian missionaries she is a mother teresa who is also uh, she is also work from this christian missionaries uh, for the help of the society and the warrior elwin keen the civilized primitive tribe this is also the primitive tribes and uh, built schools um health centers 
they built the schools and the health centers hostels churches so this is the first fund founders are we can say in the past history or the past century if we talk about these type of where from these are agencies are came forward this is a uh, come from the christian missionaries who work to the society to build the schools and then health centers and then they form that uh, hostels for the students or we can say the needy people and then churches also the, the prayer uh, uh, prayer place and then gandhian era in the gandhian era if you see the example they active in the tribal areas emphasis on the khadi here this voluntary organization they work on the emphasis on the khadi means our own type of thread or the we can say the uh, cloth making process khadi and here village industries they put forward to try the empower the villagers rural peoples they come forward to empower the rural peoples uh, like village industries land cooperative health services and the education and advantages what are the advantages of this type of organizations here better accepted community participation is the better in this programs so any voluntary organization any program is conducted the community peoples are accepted and they try to involve in this type of the programs and programs are flexible and not rigid they may be flexible means if the people are interested then they can join and there is a not a particular type of rules are there so it is not that much of rigid not handicapped by the bureaucratism and the red tapism so it is a own type of services here there is no mean of any type of bureaucracy work at fast place and low operative cost provide opportunity to individuals interested in the social work and what are the limitations see here if any organization is working the working phenomena is a different and uh, it has to follow some type of the rules and the regulations and what are the limitation it does not work beyond the limit so uh, for the working process there is a limit what are the limits let us see uh, programs are related to non critical health problems services not always targeted to those who are in the greatest need or area which need them most programs often do not run according to modern principles and the techniques of management so some of the limitations are they depend upon their uh, time or their strategy of the management of the uh, the uh, situation how to handle and that does not depend upon the uh, modern situations or modern techniques they try to their own self only and what are the functions supplementing the work of government agencies these are like a support you agencies not a government agencies these are but a support you or the supplementing the work of government agencies means they are work uh, like behalf of the some government work pioneering ways and uh, means of doing new things doing new things they try to do new things and put forward into the society and education they try to empower the education um, conducting the awareness program for the education and building the buildings for that education schools and the hostels and demonstrations and guiding the work guarding the work of government agencies whatever the government agencies are there and that work they are doing at the same time this is also a supportive work for doing this such type of actions advancing the health legislations at the same time whatever the health policies are there uh, they also try to put forward or uh, the try to uh, seek the some changes into the health uh, legislations and what are the organizations for communicable diseases see uh, you, you are just we are talking about this topic according to the health agencies so here for the communicable diseases if uh, any area or any state or any uh, group of members are affected with any type of communicable diseases what are the communicable diseases like the uh, tuberculosis if you take the example of tuberculosis cholera typhoid so these are all the communicable diseases how these organizations are work for this communicable diseases which can be 
is spread from the one person to the another person in the society so here the different types of the organizations are there like uh, tuberculosis association of india as we know the tuberculosis is a very much dreadful disease the persons who are suffer from this which are respiratory highly respiratory infections uh, into the lungs so uh, th uh, this may be uh, communicable by the coughing and the sneezing action or by the droplets of the infected person uh, from that uh, to the another person so uh, here one organization is there which is work for this tuberculosis control and the regulation like the tuberculosis association of india hind kushth nivaran sangam again the tuberculosis here the same phenomena again the kushth nivaran sangam for the cure of the kushth or the tuberculosis tuberculosis association of india when it will be established it is established on the february 23rd 1939 near about approximately 90 years before or uh, like uh, 80 years before incorporating the king emperor's anti tuberculosis fund and king george thanksgiving anti tuberculosis fund so it is uh, conducted or established by the fund from the king george headquarter is new delhi branches in all the states all the branches first of all the headquarter for this tuberculosis association it is built by the uh, king emperor's anti tuberculosis fund it is found by this uh, it is run by this fund and uh, uh, the building is the headquarter is present into the uh, new delhi whereas the branches are present into throughout the nation into the different states what are the activities come under this tuberculosis control program or the association of india what they do organizing a tb seal campaign every year to raise the fund here they work for the collecting the fund against the tb and the training of doctors health workers in the control of tb they give the training also publish periodicals related to the tb means like uh, 15th day additions one month additions or year wise additions are there so they publish this type of the additions and conduct the annual conferences encouraging the research on tb so this organization basically work on the campaign the conducting the campaign to collect the fund and to train the doctors and the health workers who work on the tb at the same time they conduct the annual conferences to conduct the or encouraging the researchers on the tuberculosis following institutions are under the management what are the institutions who work under this tuberculosis like the new delhi tuberculosis center which is present into the new delhi the lady linthglow sanatorium at the kasuli the king edward 7th sanatorium at the dharampur tuberculosis hospital at maheroli it is again into the mumbai are the uh, sorry delhi are the mumbai and so uh, this is the different three types of the institutions are the centers who work for the tb hind kusht nivaran sang means in the india we can say like the india tb control sangam or the organization if you talk into the english uh, it is a hindi terminology hind kusht nivaran sangam or india uh, what we can say here uh, control of the tuberculosis organization in the india it is found into the 19th august 1949 Uh, after the 10 years of that uh, tuberculosis association formation again the headquarter is in new delhi branches is thro spread throughout the india precursor here the precursor like indian council of british empire leprosy it is a leprosy relief association this kusht nivaran is sorry for this is a uh, uh, by mr gadol about the tuberculosis it is like a kusht in the sense leprosy relief association that is a british empire leprosy relief association which is again headquarter present into the new delhi and it is found into the year of 1949 again on the august 19 what are the activities 
here the activities are basically financial assistance to the leprosy homes and the clinics they give the financial help and health education through publications and posters poster prints and they print some publications to which guide the information regarding to the leprosy training to the medical workers and the physiotherapist conduct research and field investigations hold periodic leprosy conferences and quarterly generals like the leprosy in india these quarterly means in the uh, we can say like the uh, three months in the three months one journal is come which tells about the leprosy that name as a leprosy in the india so what are the basic activity which done under the hindu kushtu nivaran Uh, association or the organization uh, is gives the financial assistance first of all and to the clinics and who work for this leprosy at the same time give the education and form the uh, poster prints and make the posters uh, for the awareness or like a campaign and uh, print out some publications regarding to this leprosy at the same time giving the training to the medical workers like the doctors and the physiotherapist conduct the research in the field of again in investigations hold the periodic leprosy conferences so these are all the activities are done by this hind kushtu nivaran organization or the sangam for non communicable diseases so these two organization we can talk about this like the tuberculosis association is for the tb as a communicable disease and hind kushtu nivaran sangam it is for the again communicable disease after the two now this is the non communicable diseases like blindness all india blind relief society blindness is nothing but like uh, it is not a communicable disease but here uh, here also one association is form who work for this blind people it established again in the year of 1946 and the main function is relief of blind work in coordination with different institutions working for the blind people what are the activities i camps we have we often heard about the i camps are conducted so these are all i camps like lions club i camp it is also a uh, voluntary association or the organization which conducts some type of i camps uh, and it is a free of cost like conducting of the i camps for the identification of preventable blindness and cataract surgery camps removal of the cataract on the uh, retina recently with the iol implementation free spectacle for the refractory correction so any refractory correction is there or any uh, vision blur is there uh, narrow vision or the broad vision is there so for that persons they advise to give free kit of the glasses or the spectacles they provide the spectacles for the correction of the vision and then india council for child welfare India Council for Child Welfare it established in the year of 1952 single largest agency promoting the development services for the child network is again all over in the india it focus on the child welfare and the development promote the enactment of the legislations and the reforms whatever the government reforms are there legislations are there in the constitutions the acts are there so they for, they promote the activation on that act for the betterment of the child what are the programs educating the children's right they talk about the children's right and uh, creches for the children of working and the aligned mothers uh training programs for the child care workers sponsorship for the school education of under privileged children project for street and working children security uh, sorry scrutiny of adoption cases the persons or the parents who does not have child they just adopt the children from the any government agencies or the orphanages so they take and check up all the a uh, governmental procedures whatever the authentical and uh, legal procedures are there they took after all the type of the authentication or they do the scrutiny rehabilitation of uh, abandoned 
children so here whatever the abandoned children are there who does not have any type of home or uh, uh, street uh, they pre- they live into the streets so such type of children for their rehabilitation the maintenance of the rehabilitation centers and institutional and the day care services for the differently able child means like handicapped children or any type of impairments programs for the children in the difficult circumstances programs with a special focus on the girl child education centers and support services honoring children for bravery they give the samada awards for their bravery and then honoring child artist national integration camps adventure camps so these are the uh, adventure camp and the national integration camp these are all the conducted by the child helpline organization or the child welfare organizations <coughs> so i think the time is enough in the next video i'm going to cultivate in the next video i'm going to continue about this as a time being uh, this is end this is enough for this session i think till now we got the some idea about what are the uh, policies uh, what are the voluntary organization who work under this in the next video i'm going to continue thank you thank you for listening